I'm Al McCormick here from Click Lewis Arena. First of all, I want to thank Click Lewis Arena for having us here to do this demonstration of hockey. One of the things that has been worked on already has been skating. And I understand skating because it's the most important skill in the game. As skating improves, all of the other aspects of the game will follow. But there have been many professional skaters, for example, Apollo Ono or professional figure skaters, but they can't play hockey. And the difference is they can't use this. And that's what I'm here to demonstrate for, to talk to you about. Actually using the hockey stick, and we, do, we are going to do a series of stick handling, passing, and shooting. But first, let's talk about stick handling. One of the important keys to stick handling for a young kid or anybody is the ability to do this, right here. It's important to have a hockey stick that is below here on the skates or even in this area because once you get a longer stick, the immediate thing that happens is a player has a tendency to do this, bring his arm back here. What you want is the top hand to be in front, in right in front of your body here, and the stick fits right into here, not, not up like this here, but right in here, and where do you place your glove? You touch and go down two glove lengths, now I'm here. So now, as I have the puck here, I can stick handle and I can see the puck without having to look at it so that it's in front of me. So now as I stick handle, now let us stop for a second and watch. The stick handling hand is the top hand, right? The top hand. Not most kids get, and they, they do the bottom hand like this here. It's not that, it's here. Top hand is the stick handling hand, all right? If you watch golfers, when golfers play after they make a shot, they come off, they're like this, here. It's their top hand that controls, not the bottom hand that controls the swing. It's the top hand that controls what they want to do. Now, as far as stick handling is concerned, you hold the stick tight enough so that you can't knock it out of your hands. As soon as you get a tight, tight grip, you're here, it's going to cause problems. And I want to emphasize that kids relax when they have the puck. Less pressure on them, the better they are going to be. Now, as I turn around, we're going to, I'm going to take a couple of boys, John Beekler, all right, and Jake Carlson, to demonstrate here. And we're going to show you a few drills that we do as far as stick counting is concerned. And I want to show you just how some of the things are done. Go ahead. Narrow and wide. Go wide. Wide, narrow, wide. That's it. Bring it back. Narrow, wide. Notice how their hands are in front of their body. Right in front of their body. Right, right in front. When holding on the puck. And stop. OK. Now I want you to take the puck in front of you, put it here, put it to your side. Put it to the front and back to the side. This is a skill work as you watch the boys do it. Go ahead. They'll go to the front without moving their feet. They do not move their feet. They keep the feet steady, and, but the puck doesn't move it. All right, very good. Okay, and stop. Another more difficult skill is for players to be able to do more than one thing at one time. So watch these boys as they will stick handle and cross the feet as they stick handle. Go ahead, boys. Cross. All right, so now they're doing multiple tasking. All right? And that's hard skill to do. And stop. Now, another skill is to come to a defenseman or another player and make a fake on him. Now, we're going to show you two simple fakes. All right? Watch how the first one is. He'll fake a shot and draw the puck across his body to his backhand. And stick hand. And draw. And again. And draw. And draw. Now, and draw. Now, this time, if you watch, you'll see the same drill. Now, if, if a defenseman is going to pick this side, now he's going to draw and push. Let's go ahead. Stick handle, draw, and push. Outside. He goes the other way. So now he draws and push. Outside. So as he comes down the ice. So if you boys would do me a favor, would you start from the blue line and do the drag first? Beautiful. Now, John, you're going to drag and push. Go ahead. Drag and push. Good. Now, another good skill to do is, is for the players to be in a small area and actually skate in a figure eight. 
They will always be in control of the puck, and the puck will always be in front of them, all right? The puck will be the lead thing as he goes around. They never put the puck behind him and pull it behind him. The puck will be the lead as he does the figure eight. Now here's a drill that you can practice on the ice and also you can practice at home. You can take a, a ball and, and some shoes or something of that sort and practice at home. But what you want to do is control the puck all the time you're going through. And we're going to do three sections of this. First, they will skate through with, the, with their feet on both sides of the pucks. Second, they will skate on one side so that they're going to bring the pucks back to the middle of the pucks. And when they come back, they'll do the same thing coming the other way. So one time they're on the forehand, one time they are on their backhand. So here we go with this skill. Okay, one more. Okay, now on the second part of it, you'll see that the player will stay on one side of the, of the pucks and he actually will bring the puck back into the center of the pucks and back up. Okay, now they have to start from the other side. We're going to go to a, a different drill now. John, you will stand in the center, and Jake will stand here. And Jake will go right at John. John is going to be a stationary person. He's not going to be moving. And all John, you're going to do is you go at him and you fake and go to the boards, turn, and come back. And each time, he's doing something different. Each time he's doing something different, you'll see he's controlling the puck. Now we switch, and now John will come on and go ahead against Jake, and Jake just remains stationary with a stick right on front of him, so he has the ability to put the puck between his stick and his skates, and he can practice. One thing I think that's crucial as far as stick handling is concerned is that people see it being done by someone professionally or someone that has the ability to do it. Because a lot of times if you just tell them to do these things, that some kids need to see it. And when they see it, then they do it. As a coach, try to get someone who might have the ability to do some of those things to teach the kids. You might be able to do the talking, but have someone do the demonstrating. I want to emphasize that you want to make sure the player is comfortable with the puck so that he is very good in the game.